So welcome to our short course on how to enable SSD caching. This is on a Dell Optiplex 5050. Press F2 to get into the BIOS on boot up. There's a few things you have to do. Uh, so let's just go through those. The first thing is making sure that the spinning disk is what you're running on currently. I've tried to run it the other way a number of times in that I've tried to install the operating system on the SSD and then uh, set it up to cache spinning with disk, the, but um, it, it just doesn't work. Now I'm positive I've done this before with Dell laptops, but I cannot seem to get it to work here. So um, what that boils down to again is take the SSD out, disconnect it, unplug it, remove it. Uh, then install your operating system from the, uh, well, from wherever you'd like, but install it onto the uh, spinning disk. Now in my case, I'm using an M2 chip and uh, for the uh, solid state, and um, the M2 is simply, well, I'll just show you. The M2 is right here. Okay, so the M2 chip is that chip right there. There's a clip up top. You can just lift that clip with your finger and then the chip falls out. Um, I don't think you actually have to remove it, but I always like to just install with a single okay. disk. Back to the machine. Okay, really what you need to do is go into your BIOS here, which is now the UEFI, but we're going to not split that here. And make sure that secure boot is disabled. Um, I'm not positive of that, but I've read a number of blogs that say it is an issue and that you have to turn it off. Um, the next thing to know is um, that your uh, disk needs to be set to RAID mode. Right there. So you can see it's set in this case to RAID. Uh, if it's set to AHCI or set to just regular SATA, uh, you're not going to work. It's got to be working. It's got to be in RAID. Uh, and that's because this is an Intel proprietary technology that we're going to install and configure. So there we go. So uh, what I've done already is I have installed uh, the operating system onto a spinning disk, a old two terabyte spinning disk, I might add. And uh, I have the RAID set so on, as I've said. The arrangement before I reboot this. So I've got, I've got an old Toshiba two terabyte disk and I have a 128 gig um, M2, it's showing as uh, a SATA 4, uh, so it's on port SATA 4, but it is an M2 chip and uh, it's simply not PCIe, although it would work just fine if it was. Okay, so let's get out of this. Uh, oh, something else to note uh, while you're in the BIOS, if you see something that relates to hot plugging, so you can hot swap your disks, you need to disable that. This does not work with hot swap. Okay, so out we go. Let's boot it up. I'm going to skip through this so you don't have to waste your time watching it go. Okay, so this is a Strip Windows 10 1703. So it's uh, there's nothing on uh, it. There's nothing what I have done is I've gone to Windows Update and ensured that under Device Manager I have uh, all the devices installed. And I've also gone to Intel and downloaded the Rapid Storage Technology Software, the Intel RST. Uh, that's easy enough to do. Just go to intel.com slash support and, uh, or just Google it, Intel. Uh, rapid storage uh, technology. Uh, another thing that uh, we hear uh, and you can read is that you need to have the disk uh, partitioned or you don't need to have the disk partitioned depending on who you talk to. So as you see here the 128 SSD gig. that I have is um, got lots of stuff on it uh, because I had tried to install Windows on it first and then add the uh, spinning disk in but again that just doesn't work. So yeah, so you do not have to uh, partition it. Uh, for the sake of uh, being clean, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to wipe this uh, this disk out. But as you can see here, it will work without it. So let's just go through that quickly. Uh, again, I'll skip through it so you don't have to watch that. So you can see here I have a couple of partitions that aren't easy to remove. So I'm going to use disk part to get rid of them. So let's just do that. Oh, no, as you can see, using disk part, I've removed the, uh, everything As you can here. see, I have a 120 gig SSD installed. Unfortunately, Intel Rapid Storage Technology, for the purposes of SSD caching, only supports 64 gig. So what it's going to do is partition the disk. So let's just watch that happen. I'm going to slide this over so you can watch the disk. 
There we go. And you can see it's 120 gig right now. So let's go in and turn the caching on. I could click enable here, or I can go to performance, which is the normal place to do it. Click enable acceleration. Uh, I'm going to say um, enable full disk up to 64 gig. That's just normal. Uh, enhanced mode is writing data instantly, which uh, makes the uh, the data safer to work with uh, and maximizing uh, mode. What that does is uh, copy the data between the disks as it has time. Um, I'm going to leave it at enhanced mode because that's what I'm uh, mostly worried about. So I'm going to, and I can change it later and I'll show you that. So let's click OK. And you can see that bingo, that is already a 64 gig disk. Uh, sorry, a, no, a 55 gig disk. And you can see how it's split it here. So I've got uh, uh, 64 gig used for cache, and I have this data volume, which I can now format. So I'm going to do that. New simple volume, go, sure, whatever, just to get through it. There we go. And I want to go into computer as soon as that finishes formatting. You'll see I've got my C drive, which is a uh, clever 1.8 terabyte, and uh, I have a 64 gig SSD. Now, uh, keep in mind that that's that, that uh, 1.8 uh, terabyte disk is actually my spinning disk combined with the uh, 64 gig SSD for caching and that will make an enormous performance improvement uh, in the uh, per, in the operation of the machine but still allow me to have a gigantic disk. Now there are some limitations here. Um, probably the most notable is that uh, there's very few features. It's you know it's one of the nice things about it too it's just really simple. You cannot go in and um, r really the only thing you can really do is disable it and change the mode, uh, which I'm not going to do, uh, but I, you can, it's not a big deal to do. Um, but you can't, for instance, say, you can't specify what files you would like moved onto the SSD, and you also can't specify which files you don't want moved onto the SSD, and you also cannot see what files are on the SSD. It's a black box, we're just going to need to get over it, that's the way it is. Um, and that's the state of the art for January 2018. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you, bye-bye.